Hi. Um, I've been getting some questions uh, mostly about the video camera on the Samsung Jet further to my review, so I thought I might uh, answer these questions best by giving you a demonstration. Uh, in my review, I say that the, uh, the uh, low light um, is a problem with a video camera. It doesn't cope so well. It's not a lot better than the Samsung G600, and I intend to demonstrate that for you now. You can also hear the sound recording isn't that great. Um, so not to take away from the phone overall, it's a great phone, but the, but the video is not what I bought it for. Anyway, here's a quick uh, demonstration. of. Uh, there's no natural light at the moment. It's, um, what is it, it's quarter to seven in the UK at the moment, and um, so I've got a, a fairly uh, sort of low wattage bulb in my living room. And uh, well, anyway, this is what this is what it looks like. So we'll, we'll take a quick guided tour, and you can see the uh, the way it deals with movement and uh, and the uh, general resolution. Here we go. So you can see it's quite framey. Now, if this was now the kitchen's quite well lit, you can see already it's a little bit better. Um, in my opinion, the lower the light. The, the jerkier the, the rendering of it is, if you know what I mean. That's my kitchen, my new kitchen. That's uh, in another video. Um, you, see, you see what's going on there? When you're moving, it's not really rendering it very quickly. This is the problem I have with the last camera. Now, I've got a flip video camera, which if I was going to a rock concert or anything like that, I would use that. Um, because it's a lot better. But the way it handles light, the, the way it handles movement. See what I'm saying? Now, if you if you were filming something like a uh, my sister's uh, a capoeira um, uh, into capoeira, and I, she did a video of a Samsung G600 of, of a couple of people doing capoeira fighting, and it was just a blur. Because if, if if there's fast movement, then it, it just doesn't handle it well. And this is the same. This is the same sort of issue. I find it hard to actually um, say if it's definitely better. You know, it's there's not much in it. So you see, this is how it deals with motion. faster. If I just move my hand about in front of it. See that? I wouldn't use it for example for recording me playing guitar or anything like that. It wouldn't um, sort of pick up the intricacies of uh, playing guitar and stuff like that. Uh, so I can't give you a demonstration in natural light. Perhaps I'll uh, do a bit of filming when there's some natural light outside um, and uh, you see it's quite light there and that's better isn't it you can see there it renders better and then bad again because the living room's got a fairly low wattage uh, environmentally friendly bulb like I say I'll, I'll probably um, do a bit of a daytime video and then you can judge on that and if you wanted to use a video camera mostly for shooting stuff in the daytime then it might be just what you're looking for but I wouldn't want to be filming a bunch of mates at a nightclub or taking this to a, a rock concert anyway there you go hope that answers your questions